Alright guys, so I think today is the day we're going to try and fire up the uh, the 3TC car that we previously posted about. Um, a couple things are off. I got the spark plugs out of it right now because we got to check for spark. Uh, check all the configurations in the house, like make sure everything's working right. I just have to come back. I'm going to go get some fuel now. I'm going to wire up the map sensor. Uh, some of these vacuum fittings, get all them hooked up, hook up the wastegate and add some water to it and uh again configure all the stuff in the Haltech and see if she uh if she fires up today so i got some got a tank here i'm gonna go get some pump e85 now and uh after that we're gonna add once we get it running and we go to dyno and everything we'll uh we'll add some race ethanol to it so uh let's go let's go get some fuel and get this thing going check out my water jet guy real quick uh, drop off a part and then I'm heading back to the shop and then uh, finish up that wiring on that car and hopefully fire it up today I'm looking forward to it man things should sound great you guys are gonna love it so uh all right left my water jet guy heading back to the shop now and uh stuck behind this bus here but um give you guys a little breakdown of what we're gonna do so I got uh, we got oil in the motor already um, plugs are out of it because like I said I got to turn it over to uh, check spark and all that so the easiest way is have the plugs out and then I have to pull the distributor real quick I got to prime the oil pump and then get the oil pump all primed up get the distributor back in um, once we got spark we know she'll be ready to fire drop the plugs in uh, before that just got to check all the water fittings every fitting make sure everything's tight get all that done and then um, get fuel in it and put oil in the trans yesterday it's got a new Jerry Bickle drive shaft in it as well um, it's pretty much it and then uh, get it running after we get it running hopefully the plan is get a, a decent baseline program set up in the Haltech and then <clears throat> get it off the dyno so I'll do, I don't know, probably run it up to about 30, 35 pounds on the dyno. And then after that, I got to wait for the owner to come in, put some new tires on it, and get it to the track. So it's going to be cool, man. I'm excited. Haven't, haven't heard a 3TC like that start up in a while. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty pumped about it all. So, all right, we're here heading back to the shop. So hopefully we get this all done pretty quick. <laughs> five gallons of pumpy 85 from racetrack we got all that ready uh pretty much tightened up all the fittings got all the fittings nice and tight for the water fittings uh fuel fittings are tight all this stuff is tight um so uh got the boost controller in got all that plump water pump there um how to plug these two got them plugged up got the map sensor wired up <clears throat> yeah everything's pretty much i still got plugs out of it as you can see just got the wires to present it all but uh we got the coil wire off we're gonna check for spark um that's gonna be next and then we will get fuel in it and uh trying to get this coil wire set up so i could check for spark there um i'm gonna get water in it she's empty with water I'm gonna fill it up last thing we'll have to do is once we go to the dyno we'll uh plumb this to a catch can in the back of the car that's going to be the next step um <clears throat> throttle cable tps everything's hooked up uh hopefully i actually primed the oil pump um i did that already as well 
um, oil lines are tight everybody looks good um, all right we're gonna uh, I'm gonna do some configuration inside get the battery hooked up and uh, we'll check all that out now so let's let's go with that all right we will uh, turn ignition on so Haltech is live down there and we are getting the dashboard up there we go look at that thing how beautiful that is all right let's uh go to esp man that looks good i haven't configured any of the dash yet so i got to do all that too to get all the parameters we want set the new rev limiter we'll probably put the rev limiter at 9000 for this motor and um everything else that we want to put that the driver needs to see to monitor get all the shift light stuff set up up here that's all there we got the dash all set up i was configuring the dash you do it basically here upload it to the actual dash here so we got rpm um you could change your red line points and all that we put 10,000 max rpm this thing will shift at probably 9,000. um manifold pressure coolant temp um oil pressure ignition angle Wideband, it's unplugged right now. Map sensor, fuel pressure, and battery voltage. So, uh, so we got TPS working. We actually got fuel pressure with no fuel that pumps. Check that out. <laughs> that's pretty wild. Um, but that's it. Uh, gonna put fuel in it now and um, check spark one more time. And I'll show you guys that. I'll video that and uh, see if it fires up. Here we go. All right, I think we got a water leak, but we're gonna check it one more time. We got water here and fan. So, uh, brand new fitting. I tell you, always something. Yep, there it is, leaking. That's crazy. All right, we'll power that off and uh, figure out what's going on with that fitting real quick. I have no idea. I tell you, always something. Let me, uh, I'm going to take that fitting off and probably change it. Hopefully I have another. All right, so we're able to find another fitting that we're going to get in there. Um, replace that one leaking. So uh, we're going to tackle that right now. Hopefully that is the only water leak that I think we have. Uh, the back looks good um yeah that should be it hopefully this one look everybody else looks clean i don't know what happened there but it happened so we'll get that fitting on now and uh we'll move on to fuel after all right got the line out um i don't know just seemed it was leaking from that o-ring that i guess they have right in there uh kind of weird but again sometimes these fittings you never know but um, all right, we'll change this out real quick and then uh, get it back on and hopefully that fixes the problem. Not too much water came out of there, but uh, let's get to it. All right, got the new fitting back on. Uh, this one looks good. And uh, we're gonna get it back in there and uh, hopefully this guy don't leak again, Jeez. All right, let's get it on, check the water system. Here we go. Water pump. We are good. Fans kicking. No water leaks with flowing water. Hell yeah. All right, fuel next. Let's go. Okay, got everything set up. Checked a couple things. Put the O2 sensor in. Uh, door open. And ignition on. And let's check for spark. You guys see the coil wire right there on top of the radiator? I'm actually gonna put it closer so you can see it better. This is that good old 7AL spark. It is no joke.
All right. Uh, pop the plugs out because I got the plugs out so it popped the wires right out. Um, we're going to put plugs in it. And uh, oh, I still haven't put fuel. Going to do that. And uh, we're getting close, man. All right. We're going to go with the fuel pump now. Um, we had a little leak. Had to loosen the fitting, tighten it back up. But here we go. Thirty-eight pounds. We had a small leak right there, but it stopped leaking now. Fuel's flowing awesome, so I don't see any more leaks. That's it. I'm gonna put the plugs in it now and uh, try and crank it up. All right, we got spark plugs in. Uh, that's good. No fuel leaks. Um, everything's in. I got my helper here. She's ready to go to hear uh, this thing fire up for the first time. Charging the battery real quick. So uh, we're going to run a 16 volt, but I just have a 12 volt system on there for now. Uh, I'm going to order his 16 volt battery this week. So we got ignition. That's fuel pump. Ignition's on. All right, let's see if it starts. Fill it back up. Sounds good. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. It sounds really good, right? Does it an idea so next will be uh i gotta do some parameters in the house to get all that going and uh it'll be dino time next so let's see